can a pregnant woman, an averagely sized man, and a bunch of luggage fit inside this tiny camper van? We recently decided to fly to Japan and stay in what has to be the world's smallest camper van. Testing out how practical van life in Japan really is, and whether this country is one that should be on your road trip bucket list. But first of all, we had to pick up the van. Do you think it's that thing? Um, it is that. Look at the number plate, it's the right one. This is ridiculous. This is even smaller than I ever could have imagined. I'm as tall as the awning, and the awning is bigger than the van. <laughs> I can touch both sides <laughs> and I have a tiny wingspan. My wingspan is bigger than this. So the bed is going to be maximum this size, right? Oh no! Can we both fit in there? I know we want to get out of Tokyo as soon as possible as it is very busy and loud here, but let's just take a little quick peek and then we can give a full tour later. I'm confused. <laughs> I genuinely don't know how we're going to sleep in this. Is the back bit the bed or do these fold down? This is so small that I don't even think I can actually even have my camera in here very easily. This surely has to be the smallest camper van in the world. The crazy thing is I think this even advertises that it sleeps up to four people. No. The problem is we booked this about a month ago when Emma was noticeably less pregnant. <laughs> Now. I didn't think I was going to get this big this quickly. And you're not sleeping at the best of times right now. <laughs> <sighs> it's going to be a challenge. It'll be fine. <laughs> Is all the luggage even going to fit on the back seats? <laughs> I thought we packed lights. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be funny. <laughs> I'm officially on the road in Tokyo. <laughs> this is nuts. Excited to be driving one of the biggest cities in the world? Well, yeah, it's a little bit intimidating, isn't it? So right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm driving a go-kart. <laughs> At least the van's super thin. You're not going to be hitting true. anything. Well, don't say that. <laughs> Trying to match the symbols. <laughs> with what's up there. It's not easy. <laughs> wow, first sight of Fuji over there. actually has a reversing camera just in case <laughs> just in case I can't use my eyes <laughs> to see around the tiny vehicle <laughs> right now we're out of the city I really want to have a look at this and see what we're dealing with well, I guess we've got to uh, take the bags out there's a slidey door on both sides which is pretty cool well, my guess is that these seats must fold down because there's no way we're both expected to sleep back in this section here. So, let's have a look. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, there's some panels. That's a good start. Like that. Okay, well. Well, that's something, right? <laughs> do I go this way? Maybe that way. Okay. <laughs> I'm still wondering, we're not tall people, and I'm wondering if we're gonna fit in this. Well, I mean, I fit. Well, that's good. 
this bit's horribly uncomfortable in the middle of the back. So maybe we'll have to do it long ways. So it's not. Oh, so we make the bed a bit thinner. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of odd size, aren't they? It looks like we have a microwave in the back. There's not, there doesn't look like there's much, <laughs> but there's a microwave. <laughs> this table detaches. Okay, well that's something. And, and where do we store that? <laughs> um, just just take that out for now. <laughs> add it to the other stuff. Okay, so there's a bit more space now. There's no table in the way. Um, I'm guessing this is the, the mattress. Uh, I'm kind of stuck here. Could you open the back so I... Thank you. Like that. Well, that's all right. It's a bit... We'll lie down and see how comfy it is. Okay. I mean... I've slept on worse. It doesn't look spacious with Emma in there, but there's got to be two of us. So if I get in as well, so we can see what it's really going to be like to sleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's not much wiggle room in here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> I think we're going to suffer for the next few days mm. for no reason, but <laughs> Does that come off a, can we have a shower? Oh, maybe. Ooh. That's as far oh. as it goes. Okay, will that come out? Whoa. Maybe we can have a shower. I'm not sure, because that, mm, maybe. If we move the cushion so they don't get wet and one of us aims it at the other one, it <laughs> could work. This looks like it's really a perfect for one person. I'd yeah, say. it would be ideal for one person or at least two petite non-pregnant people but we're quite petite well i wouldn't say petite we're short <laughs> short and stout <laughs> what's in here oh hey sink how does that work that is actually a very clever use of space i'm quite impressed wow <laughs> oh wow so yeah i guess you just you just um, shower in this. <laughs> Up and over here. Oh so we've got oh, power. batteries, nice. Nice. Oh, there's some USB chargers there. That's handy. I want to put the pot top up, but maybe not in the supermarket car park. <laughs> maybe we'll wait until tonight to put that one up. Some more oh, storage. So, so they've got lots of storage but nothing in the storage, you know, AKA bedding, that, that might be handy. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, on the one hand, it is a good use of space. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised that the only thing is the microwave. Yeah, it seems like a unnecessary luxury. Yeah, when there's, no I mean, bedding. I guess, what would we, yeah, no bedding. <laughs> but th there's a microwave. And there's no fridge. No. Which, I don't know what's more important, a fridge or a microwave. I would say fridge. Yeah. But, well, I mean, in our van at home, we have a fridge, no microwave. But we can't be coming here with our, our Western way of thinking. We've got to think like the Japanese right now. And oh, no. how do you open it? Start, start. I can't figure out how to open it. Oh, it doesn't open. <laughs> Hello. It's the biggest thing in here. <laughs> can, can I come in? <laughs> oh, oh, pulls down on the top. It reminds me of, I don't know if anyone watching as a kid had an easy bake oven. It's that kind of vibe about it. It doesn't feel like a real microwave. It feels like a toy one. Oh look, is that a little diesel heater or some form of heater? It looks like one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, where's the heat? Oh, it must be here. Well, I mean, at least we're not gonna freeze even if we don't have bedding. <laughs> I think that will do for now. We're gonna need to go and find somewhere to stay. Yeah, and, that's uh, our next job, isn't it? That's where we'll test out the pop top and see if that makes it feel any more homely and spacious. Yeah. But I guess we just chuck all our shit back in here. <laughs> just throw it in the back now that the bed's made and uh, find somewhere to stay. We're not really sure how this part of the trip is gonna work, 
kind of just hoping to wing it as we go. <laughs> I mean, it's fine for our luggage. Yeah. Us and our luggage. Mm. Yeah, but we're going to have to put the luggage in the front when we're sleeping in the back and do the old switcheroo every time we move. <laughs> As we had no bedding, we stopped off at a nearby camping store to get a few things to make our night more comfortable before making our way into the mountains. We've stopped for food and this area is looking real nice. I'm gonna ask inside the service station if there's anywhere to stay because look behind me. We are right up in the mountains now and it's a lot cooler up here. Wow, that is a hell of a lake. The bad news is, is that they have stopped serving food for the day. The good news is we can actually stay here and there are toilets. Which are open 24 hours. 24 well, hour toilets. Which is great for pregnant ladies. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that we're only about a five minute drive down to a little town by the lake. So we're going to get some food from there now. And if we can't find anywhere better to stay, we can just come back up here. Perfect. It's pretty decent. Oh, it's lovely. This is my favorite time of year. It's just beautiful here. So we've moved the van right on the lakefront. I can't believe this spot. Look at it. As far as I'm aware, as long as you're not on private land, you're allowed to stay in your car, it's completely fine. Um, we have found that there is a toilet block right next to here. We are near to restaurants and cafes in the morning. But to be sleeping on a lake, this is way better than I thought we would possibly get. The thing that I haven't accounted for is that it is 5.40 p.m. And now what? It's <laughs> dark, we're in the middle of nowhere, everything's closing, there's nothing to do. <laughs> apart from sit and wallow in this tiny space that we've created for ourselves. We could have got a hotel. I just, what do we do? <laughs> oh, I know what we do. <laughs> We watch TV on a tiny little plasma screen. Hello. <laughs> so that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> we felt like when we were flying to Japan, we thought, we've got something here. This is brilliant. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. And even driving around today, I thought, yeah, we figured this out. This is great. I mean, it was so much fun until it got to night time. And with winter, night time is very long and the days are short. I guess if you think of it like camping, and we're essentially in a yeah. tent right okay. now. In a car park. <laughs> Emma's had a good idea. Hmm. We can put the table out. And then we've got a little rack for some of our storage, so we can either put our luggage on it or things <laughs> like that. So we can <laughs> sleep under our luggage. <laughs> You have to get creative in these situations. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God. <sighs> oh. Okay. Just uh, five more nights to go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you guys to think that we're having a bad time. We're having a great time. It's just, uh, it could be comfier. At least we have a lovely view to wake up to in the morning. So I guess it's time to say goodnight, guys. Wish us luck.
it's 6am and there's no cafes open until 10.30 is the earliest one. So I'm trying to get Emma some tea in bed. They have hot drinks in here, which is super useful. One green tea, one hot coffee. Oh, it's so warm. Thank you. Maybe we should just get a hundred of these and line the bed with them before we go to sleep at night. Like a hot water bottle. What a view to wake up to. It's nicer than looking through the window, actually. <laughs> Thank <laughs> <Much> you. <nicer. laughs> wow, those ships are pretty cool. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. At least it gives me room to get changed. It's not so easy for me to move around in the lower bit of the van with my changing body. So it is nice to be able to stand up and get changed. So I'll give it that. <laughs> <laughs> this is not very easy, even standing up. I, because these panels are wobbling all over the place when I stand on them. <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing along with us and not thinking we expect any sympathy because this is all self-inflicted. <laughs> this was a silly idea that in reality was worse than we could even imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I have slept in many, many uncomfortable beds in my years of travel. We've slept in single beds together, hard beds, everything like that. God. That was probably the worst night's sleep I've ever had on my travels. I got about three hours sleep and we went to bed about 8 p.m. <laughs> and got up at six. The other thing is that the, the heater didn't work last <laughs> night and we're currently in the mountains, so it was very, very, very cold. It's quite chilly. And uh, because they don't provide blankets and stuff like that, I thought the body warmth would be enough. It wasn't. <laughs> but I think that's enough negativity. It's now time to list off all the positives about this van. And I'd say the first one is that I love that it goes into any parking spot, like any oh, car yeah. in Japan does. But it, it basically looks like every other van on the road, apart yeah. from the awning on the side. So it's perfect for stealth camping. Also, you're allowed to park and sleep in your van, so that, that is great. And of course, we've got a breathtaking view as well over here, with many, many birds at my disposal. <laughs> but Japanese van life so far has been fantastic. Great curry yesterday. <laughs> What does that have to do with van life? <laughs> Great. <laughs> All this said, we are having an absolute blast laughing at this whole situation yeah. and knowing that we have another four more nights of this to look forward to. <laughs> but I'm actually really excited for the travel aspect of all the things that we're going to go and do. Coming up in the next video, we will be exploring the Izu Peninsula and experiencing what van life in Japan is really like. We will only be looking for the positives on the next video, I promise. But that's it for today. So if you like the video, give it a big fat thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button to see our future content here in Japan. And let us know in the comments. What do you think of the van? Would you stay in here? <laughs> Are we just being wimps? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't tried it. Before you, before you say we're being wimps, you haven't tried it. <laughs> Have you shown them the thickness of this cushion, by the way? Oh no, let's just... just... Just quickly, before we say goodbye, let me just show you how thick that is. Yeah, that, I can basically feel my other finger <laughs> underneath. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and a very sleep deprived beans out. <laughs>